Hello everybody, I'm Sam, I'm the youth pastor at St John's um, and I'm just really privileged and thrilled to be able to share one of my favourite verses with my favourite books in the Bible, uh, which is Isaiah 9 verse 2 um, and it says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Um, and that verse is just, I, I love that verse because when we're looking at it and we're talking about the people, the people were kind of this verse is talking about the Israelites um, and for kind of us that know the Israelites didn't exactly have the nicest time uh, they were persecuted massively throughout time they were slaves in Egypt wandered through the desert for years um, and their life isn't exactly nice or easy um, the book of Isaiah is basically this book filled with prophecy uh, of a great deliverer of a messiah and the one we know now to be Jesus but then it would have been kind of a beacon of good things to come so the Israelites would have actually read this and realised wait there's something better to come there's something good to come um, someone who could forgive my sins who would end their persecution and who would kind of bring light into, into the darkness of their lives this light is a powerful mighty beautiful light that breaks through every chain every evil thing um, and actually when we're looking at the Israelites we can compare kind of what happened to the Israelites with our lives today um, kind of their world is filled with darkness and pain and hurt and so is ours right now um, especially through this time where actually things aren't easy we can't be around the ones we love we can't be with the people we care about our jobs are in danger we're not sure about our financial situations and actually where the Israelites were actual physical slaves today we're really slaves to the world we live in uh, and slave to sin and actually the beautiful thing about this verse is it isn't just for the Israelites it wasn't just for them and actually it's for us today as well and it's not just for us it's for people for years to come um, actually this light that, the, that this verse is talking about comes and envelops the world um, and loves the world so much um, and it's still relevant for us today and this Christmas uh, is going to be a really different one from the one we normally see um, the ones that have come before us but we need to remember that even in the darkness of the world that we live in um, with Covid and lockdowns and restrictions on our lives that actually there was a light that was born 2000 years ago a light that would take all our mess, all our sin, all our dirt and all our hurt and leave it at the foot of the cross um, and so my prayer for us at this church and these people and this town is that we can remember that this Christmas Christ was born so that we could have life filled with light and a life filled with his love.